Hello everyone, welcome back to Ginger Sadie's Crafts. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, then you're in the right place. I use items mostly from the Dollar Tree, but you can find similar items at Walmart, hobby and craft stores, thrift stores, and even garage sales. So today I'm going to do a segment called Feature Friday, where I showcase crafts from other YouTubers, Instagram, and other places of interest that I think that you would enjoy. Today I'm going to feature crafts from Whiskey, from Whiskey and Wit. I'll link her channel and video down below. She does amazing craft projects, builds, and DIYs. I hope you go check her out. So go ahead and let's get started. So for the first craft, you'll need one of these high cloche domes that you can get from the Dollar Tree, pumpkin picks of your choice. If you can't find the velvet ones from the Dollar Tree, you can also use these picks seen here. So this one is super easy. You're just gonna go ahead and pull the pumpkins off the picks. And then you're gonna take your cloche and stuff your pumpkins inside. And then all you're gonna do is put it back on. And there you have it. Super easy and super fast. Here is a finished product and it only took about a minute to make. For the second project, you'll need a couple of these faux wooden special moments picture frames from the Dollar Tree. These are two and a half by three and a half. You'll need some crafting paper. Once again, my favorite paper. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. You'll also need some fall stickers of your choice, depending on which way you want to go. And then you'll need some scissors, a glue stick, and a pencil. So what you're going to do is go ahead and gently pull back the metal tabs because they do tend to break. I like I don't like using the glass out of my projects. Um, she did, but it's up to you, really your choice. And then I'm going to take my crafting paper and I'm going to go ahead and trace an outline to make sure that it fits inside the frame. And then you're going to go ahead and cut that out. And then you're going to want to do that twice for both frames or as many times as, as many frames that you have. So as I mentioned, you can either attach the craft paper directly to the glass, but I don't like having glass around in my house too much, especially Dollar Tree craft glass because it tends to break. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my glue stick and cover the paper all over with the glue. Oops. Got a little overzealous with the glue there. And then I'm going to attach the paper directly to the frame back portion of the frame. And you can use as much glue as you need. You can also glue the direct onto the frame itself and then put your paper on top. And then you'll do that for as many frames as you have. And once you're finished, you're going to go ahead and turn it over and sort it back into the frame and push the little metal clips down. Now, I don't know about you, but I am just in love with these pumpkin stickers from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick a couple off that I like. Now you can use the 3D ones or the non-3D ones. And you'll just place them on your picture. I'm going to do one vertically and then one horizontally. Now here if you want you can write like hello fall or hey y'all if you feel like it. I'm not going to write anything there but I do feel like it needs a little something something in that corner so I'm just going to take another sticker. Oops. And then just stick it up where that space is. And if you don't like it, you can always play around with the arrangement of the stickers or rearrange them or to use different stickers. 
I ended up not liking how that vertical pumpkin sticker looked, so I went ahead and attached a new piece of paper and a couple of other different stickers. And then here are the finished products. Another simple and easy craft DIY project that you can use on their own as at or as accent pieces to your fall decor. And here are both of the projects that we made today. They actually look super cute sitting next to each other and they would be great on a shelf, a bookshelf, or a mantle on your rear fireplace. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I will post a list of the supplies needed in the description box below, as well as a link to Whiskey and Wit so you can check out her crafting and DIY projects. If you enjoy quick and easy craft projects and would like to stay for the next one, please consider subscribing to my channel and sharing to others that you know that might be interested in super easy projects. Until next time, thanks.